This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, honey! And guess. Welcome back, everyone, to Miles Edgeworth Ace Attorney Investigations. We're starting a new case today. Yeah. It'll oh, be also, we didn't show off uh, episode two. Yeah, it is Francesca. <laughs> I was right. Yeah, you were, but I was, you shouldn't uh, have been. It's sure, just like, I shouldn't have short been. hair. It's short gotta hair. be Francesca. No, I, I was like puffy sleeves, short hair. It's all coming <laughs> and together. And she's now predicting that this is Wolf from yes, Star Fox. Yes. I have one thing I want to mention just to kind of get people in the mood right before this already managed to name every single fire emblem seven boss in the correct order from lynn's story through elwood's story and then there were a few in hector's story i didn't get around to including pascal and came i don't know how many times you played through that game but like i would never be able to name fire emblem bosses they're just all generic to me well, it's like oh it's that ugly dude well you know we didn't come here to quote fire emblem bosses we came here to start episode three the kidnapped turnabout and we're starting uh, now yeah maybe a wolf kidnapped little red riding hood march 13th 10 11 a.m somewhere Where are we somewhere in the middle of nowhere. it's time don't worry, Mr. Edgeworth. I'll be following your every movement with my binoculars. What? Good to hear. Now make sure you don't lose sight of me. I'm counting on you for backup. You can count on me, sir! I'm imagining them just walking in the park. I have to go. The kidnapper is supposed to contact me soon. Great. Who would have thought that upon my return, I'd be thrust into a kidnapping case? And that I would be the one who would have to make the ransom drop off. What? <laughs> Looks like that suitcase is yep. coming in handy. Let's see. I checked that the money is all there, safe inside this suitcase. Now all I have to do is await further instructions from the kidnapper. Which I'm expecting to be transferred to my cell phone. I wonder who else is around. This is the meeting place, after all. The Gatewater Hotel! <laughs> Welcome to Gatewaterland! Oh, thank you. And a big hello to you. I'm... Oh, wait. This might be the bellboy, actually. <laughs> and a big hello to you. And a big hello to you. I'm the proto-badger. Nice to meet you. That guy's creepy. Gary. He's like... It is Gatewater, Land of all. Excuse me, but were you perhaps thinking of taking a picture of me? A picture of you? Sorry, but I'm not interested. Oh, that's too bad. We'll have a good day. And then Edgeworth gets murdered. Hello? <laughs> Sounds like the kidnapper is putting their hand over their mouth to kind of distort the way they're talking. <laughs> Actually, they're using some sort of voice alteration device. The audience will have to use their imaginations. I'm his representative, Miles Edgeworth. Are you a cop? <laughs> No, I'm a prosecutor. Close enough. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like Von Karma. I know what you're wondering, and yes, I have brought the ransom money with me. <laughs> this dude's just <laughs> Proto Badger's just watching us. <laughs> Creepily. Like, uh, with brought his, the money. With huh? his pu only pupil eyes. Brought the money for Gatewater. <laughs> <laughs> so this person intends to see if I'm being followed, huh? Please, Detective Gumshoe, I really need you to come through for me this one time. That was magic? It just warped into his hands. Yeah. Magic suitcase. What are we at SeaWorld? Oh! Gavin Ears? <laughs> <laughs> That's the Cavanier symbol. <laughs> Edgeworth speaking. Next, come to the heart house. And just how long do you intend to have me wander around for? That's really to decide. You don't have much of a choice here, my friend. I suppose not. Poor Edgeworth. We are never gonna figure out. The He's jet lagged too. I've arrived. Go inside. Oh boy, he's gonna get jumped. <laughs> what the 
the heck? Is he the only one in there? This is kind of cool. Yeah, I like this. Uh. Hmph, what a dismal place. That's it, golf noodles, doors. It's just, uh, it's just Gumshoe pulling a prank. <laughs> I'm sure seem to look on your face. Or... <laughs> Am I being watched from somewhere? Inside the suitcase, there's a camera. Um... It's like the Haunted Mansion. <laughs> Leave the money and go now. Ugh. I was hoping for an exchange, but maybe I should do as they say for now and not push it. Yeah, maybe. I couldn't catch even a glimpse of the kidnapper. Perhaps I should keep an eye on this haunted house until police backup arrives. Oh, great. Five Nights at Freddy's. Unless if that's... Oh, boy. Is that drift gonna die? I can't. This takes place before the first case still. But after the second... Ah! It was a trap! Well, how's that for an intro? That's fun! March 14th, 11.23 a.m. Wait, Where is Andrew are the we? one that's kidnapped? That guy betrayed. No, can't be. Then the deal. Who is that? And what are they talking about? Split police. Alright. In front of... Meet up. I can't even move my body. Oh, I fear I may faint again. So they made a Blue Badger theme park. That's kind of weird. They made an evil Blue Badger theme park. Where am I? How long was I out? It wasn't raining like it is now when I made the drop-off. This was supposed to be a simple affair. So why have I been taken hostage as well? I can only assume Detective Gumshoe lost sight of me at some point. The only reason I agreed to be the drop-off man was because of that cell- that phone call. It was from Mr. Ernest Amano, the director of the powerful Zaibatsu, the Amano group. Zaibatsu, yeah. Zaibatsu, is that- do you know what that is? Zaibatsu? Um... No. No. I could look it up. He's the Amano. You want me to look it up? No, it's- it's cool. What if it tells us something important? We'd know. <laughs> But aside from that, I also owe him a great debt of gratitude. His only son, Lance, had been kidnapped. No. I know that Lance is already in his Lance 20s. Lance Amano. But I guess some things you never grow out of. He's in his 20s, so it's not like a little boy. Well, It's so. still bad, but yeah. Same age as him. Right. Can't believe... Here's the thing I don't understand. Why would his dad not do the ransom? Because it's his own son. Like, who would be like, uh, d d Edgeworth, save us? Like, <laughs> if, if I got kidnapped, you You know, want Edgeworth to save you. <laughs> I mean, I, you're not wrong. But <laughs> if I got kidnapped, I'm sure, like, our dad would be like... Oh, yeah. Okay. Like, he wouldn't call someone else to help. He would be like, I'm going. He wouldn't it call seems, someone else to do the stuff. Sure, for, it yeah. seems a little weird. I can't sit around waiting for someone to come help me. I must escape somehow. This is you. <laughs> Was that you making that funny sound? I don't even know who this Who's is. Who's there? And how dare you laugh at a gentleman's plight? Who's this? <laughs> what? Is she a bird? <laughs> who is this girl? Who are you? Are you one of the kidnappers? Crap. Oh, she has a key going through her hair? Okay, Meet I'm one of the main up, characters. I'm picking up the great Yuffie. A little bit. But she's obsessed with birds. She's got the birds. I thing love her on theme her. song, though. Yeah, it's, I, have, uh, I don't want to do her injustice. Uh, every time. This is what always. I'm sure she's, people. I'm sure people hate me. Like doing these like games no. and stuff. Because they're like, oh, Marty takes forever to speak the first time a character comes. I mean, they haven't left a comment with that. But. <laughs> <laughs> By the time this goes up, they might have. But, yeah, we'll, we'll see. i make a separate, a different YouTube account just to leave this comment out. <laughs> no, no. A kidnapper? Me? No way! I'm not into such petty crimes. Nope, I'm at 
after something much, much bigger. Ah, oh, must be worn out from today's ordeal. Focus, Miles. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. Sorry about that. Ahem. Even in the depths of night, when no other bird dares to take flight, one alone soars to shine the light of righteousness on the world's blight. And that one is me, for I am the great thief, Yatagarasu! Great thief? And did she really just claim to be the Yatagarasu? Oh, but my real name is K Faraday. Or Faraday. Faraday. K Faraday. Faraday. <laughs> you say Ferrara. <laughs> Ferrara! <laughs> my real name is K Faraday. Faraday, me... but not Faraday. But you can call me K, K? Good. Get that. Glad that's settled. So this is the peppy assistant girl of the game. <laughs> well, I'm glad I have a different voice. <laughs> she is my least favorite assistant, but has possibly my favorite feet. So oh! Assistants. Least favorite assistant? Not quite. I have a mountain of questions for you. But first, if you would be so kind as to remove these ropes. Hmm, I wonder. Should I remove them? I was actually having a lot of fun watching you make those silly faces. <laughs> That's a great face. I love that. Hey, there's no need to get all mad and ice glary on me, you know? This rope goes through here, and there you go! What a relief. I owe you my thanks. Ah, uh, it's okay. You can pay me back in full later. Now then, what question should I start with? Unfortunately, I can already tell nothing is going to be easy with this cheeky girl. You call yourself a great thief, yet are you really a thief at all? You doubt me? I get it. You think that a young lady like me couldn't possibly be such a big time thief, right? That's not the part I have a tough time believing. I'm the real, genuine Yadagarasu, you know? Yup, I'm a pure-blooded great thief. It's a little something I inherited from my predecessor. In that case, you wouldn't mind if I arrested you then, right? What? Of course I'd mind. I haven't stolen anything yet. Seriously, I don't know how you can say such horrible things to your savior. Pouty lip. <laughs> That's true. Technically, she hasn't stolen anything in front of me. Yet. <laughs> I do love her pouty lip face. Yeah. Where the heck did this girl pop through, by the way? Oh, so there's a... Okay, Ernest Amano, he's... he's oh, 51. 51, okay. Lance, Lance is 21. We knew him when we were kids. Okay. Okay, and then K Faraday. Oh, she's 17. I thought she was only 16. Okay. That's surprising that she's 17. She looks like Lynn a little bit for Fire Emblem. Maybe I'm in the Fire Emblem mood. Who knows? She's got kind of possibly the craziest hairdo I've ever seen. Oh. No! Not as crazy as What's Her Face from Avatar. Her, her hair is so manageable. <laughs> the, the May <laughs> with the hair that goes to the sides. <laughs> no, at least that's like. This is like, okay, she's got like the main haircut and she's kind of got like this anime spike here. Then she's got a ponytail that sticks straight up. Then it droops down and opens down. It, yeah, it's, it's like the Ariana Grande ponytail. Yeah, that's weird. That's not, okay, it's not that Shots weird. fired, Ariana Grande. I think Grande. the thing that's weird for her is she has three scrunchies in her hair. So, like, yeah, three weird. hair ties. That's pretty strange. When you say you're the Yadagarasu, do you mean that you are the Yadagarasu? Yup. The most righteous of the righteous. The legendary great thief. But the title was only recently succeeded to me. So I haven't had a chance to steal anything yet as the second Yadagarasu. I was not aware that thieves could pass down their titles like that. But don't worry. I've got some big plans in the works. Big plans, huh? They wouldn't happen to lead to a big arrest, would they? I knew it. There's just no reasoning with a prosecutor. I'm not the problem here. I'll have you know that the Yadagarasu has no interest in stealing petty trickets. There's one thing and only one thing I want to steal. Only one thing? And what would that be? But that's going to have to wait until we find our way out of here. Well, at least there is one thing we agree on. I'm sure I'll have plenty of time later to learn more about you. Tell me what your name is, Mr. Prosecutor. Uh, I guess not. I'm Miles Edgeworth. Ah! Oh, now I remember! How can you remember something I just told you? But she sure is cheery. Alright then, Mr. Edgeworth, let's get out of here! Uh? It would seem that we are locked in from the other side. What? 
Okay, you do remember where you came in from, right? It looks like that might be our only way out of this room. Whoops. Slight miscalculation. That's a good height to make from an entrance from, but I can't jump that high to make an exit. <sighs> I suppose we have no choice but to look around and see if we can't find another way out. <laughs> Isolation room. Begin investigation. Pilot Badger photo- uh, uh. This is, okay, this is literally like when you start playing a game and you're like, wow, this game's so great, and then it takes a turn for the creepy, and you're like, doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. like, and things go really creepy and strange. I'm trying to think of a good example. Doki Doki Literature Club. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a really good example, but also maybe like Portal, Portal, or Portal 2? Where it starts out as seemingly like, oh, okay, you're doing this thing, and then it's like, whoa, what happened? Um, kind of. Or, uh, uh, something else. I don't know. I'll think. Uh, maybe we can use this paint to help us escape. And what exactly do you have in mind? Well, we could paint help in really giant letters. And who, pray tell, would see these giant letters? We're inside a building. Okay, then how about we light the paint on fire and send out colored smoke signals? Anyone who saw it would think some crazy arsonist was about to call the cops. Actually, that may not be all that great for me, seeing as I'm a thief and all. Let's try to find something other than this paint to you, shall we? I love how she's like, let's light the paint on fire! Yeah. That's like... <laughs> she's she, basically a petty criminal. She's like <laughs> a female version of the really weird kid in my chemistry class. Or the dude from Harry Potter who blows everything up. Seamus. Seamus. Finnegan. Yeah, yeah Seamus. Oh, like she mentioned fire once. You're holding a blue badger photo rally. Oh, they're holding a blue badger photo rally. I don't know about you. <laughs> you didn't know? Plus, it's not just the blue badger. It's his whole family, too. The badger photo rally. Take a picture of every member in the badger family and receive a prize. There's only one of each of the four family members wandering throughout the park. Best it's of probably all. a small park. What I'm wondering is it's like, you don't participate in the photo rally, and they're like, we're gonna kill you. <laughs> like, and that's why they were following around. If you manage to snap a shot of every member of the family, you get a really posh prize! Well, there's a costume head sitting over there. Why not start with a picture of that? You can't do that! That's cheating! There's only one of each badger in the park, so you have to work for it! Speaking of badgers, there was one sitting against a wall in the haunted house. Seriously? But somehow I don't think that one counts, Mr. Edgeworth. You have to take pictures of the costume ones walking around the park! So those are the rules of this game. How quaint. You know that's going to be important. You know everything's important. Hmm? Isn't this my phone? It looks like it made it through the ordeal intact. If only there was a way for us to contact someone on the outside! Ah, but we do have a way. Right here. No cell reception. <laughs> uh, that was a- there was a cell phone here this whole time?! If I'm right, Detective Gumshoe should have contacted the precinct for backup by now. Mr. Redworth, sir! Are you okay? I was so worried, sir! I'm fine. I was knocked unconscious for a spell by the kidnapper, that's all. I'm sorry, sir! I'm such a failure! If only I hadn't lost sight of you! Detective, we don't have time for this. Have the police set up a perimeter right now. You don't have to worry about that, sir. I already got the boys working on that. But in doing that, I sorta... Ah! What's wrong, detective? Uh... Who's this? I don't... Is this oh, a no, I know, I know who this is. Oh. <laughs> Sorry to butt in, but I'm afraid you're gonna have to make do with me. Who is it's this? Larry. <laughs> Shevon Lane of Interpol. A pleasure to speak with you, Mr. Edgeworth. I've heard a great deal about you. So why exactly is an Interpol agent like yourself involved in a domestic kidnapping case? Don't sweat the details. A crime's a crime whether it's on a local or a global scale. Besides, you're the one who's in a world of trouble. And why would you say that? Lane Z says, the pack that runs together stays together. You catch my drift? You caused quite a ruckus by running blindly into a situation you know and then getting caught. Be, you know what I think would be really interesting is if, I mean, I, we know already this is some new character. If they had a character that gets arrested later, but you are with them in a previous case, that'd be super cool where it's like, oh, you see how this character turns out later and, like, maybe they did something wrong, and then you work with them in, a, in an early, like, oh, like, before case where it's like, oh, but this character maybe was, like, 
just was there or like was a witness or something hmm. and then th I think that'd be super interesting. <laughs> oh, interesting. <laughs> you should have contacted the police from the very beginning. We couldn't have. I'm sorry that this happened because of a lapse in judgment. However, I humbly request that you please help me out of here post haste. Sorry, no can do. What? We're hunting the kidnapper now, and I haven't got any hands to spare. As I said, my pack moves as one. You're the one who wanted it to go it alone, so good luck to you, Mr. Prosecutor. Oh, and once we do catch the kidnapper, rest assured we'll come find you. Eventually. You. You. What's wrong? Did you get cut off? No. My phone ran out of power. No way! It doesn't matter anyway. We should try to get out of here for our own means. Yeah, I have a name to live up to after all. If we put our heads together, we're sure to find a way out. Well, that was weird. I love how she's just pulling the door that is clearly locked. Absolute same stuff. Okay. What is this? It looks like the Bad Badger, and it looks as bad as ever. Looks like a costume head to me. I guess the Bad Badger's costume is, at the very least, a two-piece, huh? The real question is, why is only the head sitting out here on the floor? Hey! There's something inside the bottom right box. Oh, I think it's a Pink Badger costume. Pink Badger? You don't keep up with what's going on in the world, do you? In that case, you'd better study up on the whole Badger Clan with this. Badger Clan. Proto Badger! The very first Badger. I thought that was the Blue Badger. Bad Badger. A vile criminal with a gun! Oh, I see how it is! <laughs> so it's a criminal and they automatically have a gun. I get it. Pink Badger. Pink Badger. Notice Note her unique pink bow. That's how you tell she's a girl. That's like <laughs> Minnie Mouse. Blue Badger, an ally of justice who keeps the peace! And then what does Proto Badger do? Nothing. He just existed first. <laughs> That's his claim to fame. What is this thing? Think of it as a Bible of all the things you'll ever need to know about the clan. Whatever. I suppose I can keep it as a reference guide or something. I suppose this means that this is where they keep all the costumes. It certainly looks that way. It's like the Badger's family home. There are eight boxes, but seven of them are empty. Which means that seven of the costumes are in use right now. But aren't these badgers the mascots of the police force? Well, I've heard that the police have had a hand of sponsoring this theme park. Probably because the Gatewater group owns the police from all the cases they've solved. They have all the power of the state and they use it to make a theme park? <laughs> it's not just any theme park. They have a handcuff shaped double loopy roller coaster. That's quite enough. I'm feeling woozy just from the thought of such a thing. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Okay. This is that blue badger I met at the main gate. Excuse me, but his name is Proto Badger, not Blue Badger. He's based off of the very first design created by the local police chief. You know, when you compare the two, the blue badger looks a bit cuter. I suppose as he continued to redesign him, the chief managed to make him cuter and cuter. Even humanity has come a long way when you think about how much we've evolved. Are we comparing the blue badger to humans now? I suppose that this is the pink badger. But since it has the same design, shouldn't it, doesn't it seem forced to call this one a female? You'd think so. I mean, just look at how long her eyelashes are. That is the one thing that I've learned. The only difference between Mickey and Minnie really early on was her bow and eyelashes. And skirt. The way she dressed. No, but I'm saying if you just looked at their face. Yep. That's the only difference. That's the only difference. <laughs> and the fact that she's pink. Yes, and... And her lips are red! See? Lipstick! What? She has nothing to say about the giant pink ribbon, or is that one too obvious? I suppose this is- oh. I thought it would examine the costume. But it actually is still here. Nope, never mind. So this is the Blue Badger's rival, the Bad Badger, huh? Do you feel some sort of reverence towards this Badger, Kay? <laughs> I can't believe you would be so stereotypical when it comes to thieves. Surely you must also think that there are much cooler and cuter ones out there, right? That's it! I've decided that thieves and thievery need an image makeover! Good luck with that one. 
Look, it's the blue badger! I suppose even this fiend can be popular with women. I can't stand him! What in the- Why is she suddenly beating the blue badger's image up? He's got the word badge right in front of his name. How bad is that for a girl like me? And to think he's out there wandering around in this park. I better be careful or he's going to arrest me by the power of his name alone! I somehow doubt that the blue badger has the power to arrest anyone. That would be really weird. And what have we here? What have we here? Ah! Why do I feel a laser-like stare aimed right at me? D did you want to take a look? Ooh, well don't mind if I do! Ooh, I see! Yes, this is definitely... A key! I'm sure it's the key to something! The something is what is relevant to my interest. This is like when somebody puts the key back in the jail cell with them. Man, why did he have to put a window so high up anyway? How was the thief supposed to make her daring escape? I suppose we can make our way out if we were able to climb up on top of these lockers. Aha! That's pretty clever. You make a good thief yet, Mr. Edgeworth. Please don't ever place my name and the word thief in the same sentence again. Let's see. I wonder if I can jump and grab the top of the locker here? Nope. Man, why do they have to make such ginormous lockers anyway? Even if we wanted to use these lockers, we need some sort of foothold. You can, like, shove a human being in those. <sighs> seems that we won't be able to open this by ourselves. It also seems quite thick, so we can't just break it down. There must be another way out of here. This is the beam that I was tied to. Hmm? What's up? I was pondering if perhaps we could make it over to and out of the window if we climbed this. Good thinking! And if it's climbing action you need, just leave it to me! Thanks. This little hook looks like it just might make a good for a good foothold. Up you go, Kay, and good luck. Count on it! The great thief Yadagarasu spreads her mighty wings and takes to the skies! Here we go! She still has the cape fluttering in the wind, though. As I thought, this beam was definitely not made for climbing. What do you mean, as if I thought? I'm not your guinea pig, you know! I would've just climbed it. Like, you don't even need to jump, you just need to, like, shimmy up the pole. Let me think logically. Lockers, if we could get to the top, we could get an escape, but only if there were footholds. Costumes. Costumes uh, and badge king. Uh, there's a hook on this beam, but it's not I'm enough not of a foothold to, to climb out. Left. I might be able to use the key to open something somewhere in the room. Oh, probably the lockers. Lockers and the tiny key? Yeah. Thing? That would make sense, because you need something to open the lockers. No? Not exactly a shining example of the perfect line of logic. What? Slap self. <laughs> Come on. Can't see a clear connection between these two pieces of information. Dang. Poor Edgeworth is just beating himself up. He's just slapping himself in the corner. He's like, what are you doing? I already checked this area earlier, but it never hurts to take another look. All right, we got everything. We got everything over there. So maybe we need to examine the floor? <laughs> this is the beam I was tied to. Just maybe we can use this to climb up to and out the window. Leave it to me. Oh, this again? Wait, didn't I just try this? I can't climb this thing. I suppose we'll just have to find another way to escape. Uh, let's look down. Look down, paint, thing. We already looked at the paint. Photo. Cup of the wind! <laughs> I like Kay's animations. Man! Did I miss something in my logic? The locker? No, I don't think it's anything. There. Yo, Kay, help us. I love how we can't remember anything. Oh, the kidnapping. Why now? Do you know where the person who kidnapped me went? Well, after they 
lock you up in here? It sounded like they went into the next room and started talking to someone. I feel like I heard something as well, but it's all a haze in my mind. However, I do recall that the kidnapper was talking with someone. It was just a guess before, but I guess I really am dealing with two kidnappers here. After that, they left. It almost seemed as if they were done with you. I suppose that is the case, as my kidnapping seems like an afterthought to the one million dollars. He gave them one million dollars? Apparently. Well, how, how rich is Edgeworth? I mean, I know Not Edgeworth. Not... Ernest Amano. Oh, Ernest. Oh, I was like, man, like, Edgeworth is like... <laughs> Ballin'. He's like going, <laughs> living it up. They see me rolling. Ballin', they they hate. hate him. Well, if they went into the next room, let's see what we can find out for this slot. Hey, don't don't you get don't you think getting out of here is more important right now? You can ask me about that later. I suppose she's right. You'd think I'd be good at talking. The one thing I need to do, but I'm not. Ooh, we can peer through the room into the kidnappers from there. You know, that. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Well, there's a weird blue There's nothing box. unusual about that area. There's a ladder. Bug! Be gone! There's a door on the opposite side that appears to be the same as this one. Which would mean that I can probably assume that these two rooms are very similar in structure. That it wasn't plugged in and not charging. Oh. Okay. This one. I believe I may have just found our ticket out. What about the chairs? Is that what I think it is? It looks like the kidnappers had an escape route tunnel prepared just in case. That's awesome! They're like a bunch of great thieves themselves. No, they're not, because I highly doubt they made the tunnel themselves. The floor panel was removed and propped up against the beam in a very specific way. I think this building was originally built with a basement or underground area. Nothing unusual about the chairs. Oh. The logic? Let's do logic now. We have a new piece. Open floor panel. Yeah, probably is. Held in place by a hook. Aha. <laughs> this hook on this beam. You know, I already tried, and there's no way I can jump from the hook to the window. Come on, even you have to admit when something's just not possible. Ha! Huh, I wasn't about to suggest that again. Rather, that it's here for a different purpose. Really? Like what? As you saw in the adjacent room, it's clearly for keeping a floor panel propped up. Which means that there should be a panel in this room that we can open as well. Oh, I get it. We didn't notice its existence all this time because it was being hidden by this tarp. All right then, let's fold this thing up and see what's underneath. Now this is what I call a treasure. Wow, this must be another entrance to the secret hidden basement. I totally smell treasure. The scent I wish to smell is the sweet fragrance of freedom. Then what are you waiting for? Hurry up and open the hatch! All right. Ugh. This thing is locked down tight. I guess I know what we're linking up. Aw, oh, fiddlesticks! Better than the other F word. No, yeah. we're not lockers. Tiny key. The tiny, tiny key. <laughs> it takes Edgeworth a lot longer to think this through than other people. I believe you are up, Kay. Huh? Why me? Because we need to use the tiny key that you've taken quite a liking to. Oh, gotcha! Just leave it to me! I love the tense feeling of these moments when you're about to uncover something big. I believe the feeling of freedom would be much more satisfying right about now. Edgeworth moved to America. <laughs> ha! I've got the secret door open, and now! Where do you think we are, Marty? This is not Japan. He's not free in America. Ah! ah wait! What? Ah! Are you alright, Kay? I'm fine. The, the ladder just slipped is all. Thank goodness she's alright. I about had a coronary. There's a lot of really large machinery down here. What about an exit? Um, it's really dark and cramped down there, so I really doubt there's an exit. Ah, oh, I can't believe that this happened! You only have yourself to blame for leaping before you looked, you know. No way! I mean, how was I supposed to know that the ladder was removable? 
now. Ladder's removable. That's pretty easy. I figured out how we will escape this prison, Kay. <gasps> so how are we going to bust out? It seems that your reckless actions were of use after all. Are you actually praising me? More of a thank you for giving me an idea regarding this ladder. The underground ladder? What about it? This ladder isn't just for those who wish to go down. Oh, I see! If we use this... Yes, I believe it's long enough to reach the top of those lockers. Well then, what are we waiting for? Well, what are you waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> that animation, though. Whoa! Whoa! She looks like, um, either the High School Musical jump or Buster. <laughs> it's or, the High School no, Musical no, jump. No, or uh, look at the little boy on the box. We just whore out. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we spent entirely too much time in here. Kidnappers who held me hostage and a mysterious Interpol agent. This case is only getting started, and I'll be the one to bring it to a resounding end. What is it with Interpol? Like, there's so many Interpol. What are we, the Wild West? The, wow, yeah. wow, west. March there's a cat! 12, 11 p.m. Wild, wild west area. Yeah, there's a there's cat. A big, fat, orange cat. Gotta be there. Kitty! The 10 gallon hat. It looked like it stopped raining for now. Yeah, thank goodness. You have no idea how hard it was raining earlier. Mr. Edgeworth! I'm so glad to see you managed to escape, sir. I was so stressed that I thought my heart was gonna give out! Detective Gumshoe, may I ask what in the world that is? Well, that's... um... Count off! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight! Ninety-eight! Ninety-nine! Bottles of beer on the wall? Shifu! All ninety-nine members are here and accounted for, sir! This girl! Who are these people? <laughs> what the heck do you think you're doing counting off my cubs off like that? He is a tiger. He's a lion. Every person is a valuable human being, you get me? And everyone has a name that their parents gave to them. No one is a two or a three. Everyone, regardless of age or <laughs> rank, is number one! Got it? <laughs> he looks like Fox! It's the chin! I think that's some of it. Yeah, or like a Really weird Fire Emblem boss. <laughs> this guy is interesting. Shifu! Shifu! <laughs> <laughs> Who's the chick that looks like Lena Lamont? You are Agent Lane, I take it? You infidel! How dare you address our Shifu so rudely! <laughs> Lane Z says, A cub who disrespects others soon feels the disciplinary bite of an elder. So don't you ever forget to show the proper respect towards another person. Sheena! This isn't much, but please accept my card. Oh, thank you. Please accept mine in return. He's like, no. You all see that just now? That is the proper way for two people to show their respect. Keep that in mind and you'll get far in life. Got but it. Never mind the fact that they just throw away the cards at <laughs> Ah, that's right. Francisca did warn me. Something about an elite Interpol agent from the Republic of Zane Fa. Apparently this man has the highest successful arrest rate in the organization. Agent Lane, why exactly is an Interpol agent involved with a, this clearly domestic case? That's none of your business, Mr. Prosecutor. How is it not? I've heard a rumor or two about you. You solved the murder that occurred during your flight home recently, right? Ha! But you sure took a while just to arrest one little flight attendant. I guess this is why you need to watch these in order and also play these cases in order. Yeah. How dare you say that about Mr. Edgeworth? Are you saying you could have solved it faster, pal? The comedic relief jumps to the aid of his master. A cliche. Look, what I'm getting at is if I had been there, no one would have died. You can survive turbulence? No one can do that. I would have solved the entire case and Agent Hicks would still be with us here today. Agent Lane knew yesterday's victim, Agent Ackby Hicks. Hicks was like a brother to me, so now I'm about to take my revenge. On him? Agent Hicks was investigating a smuggling ring with Franziska and a third person. This must be the man she was talking about. In that case, you should understand how I feel as the kidnapped is someone I know. So I ask that you please allow me to participate in the investigation. Wow. 
Whoa. This isn't your neatly trimmed courtroom of Eden, you know. You're out in the wilderness now, Mr. Prosecutor, and way out of your league. No hard feelings, but why don't you go back to your courtroom now, pretty boy? You! You dare to mock the court! I do! And I don't need the help of a filthy prosecutor. Sorry, but the truth doesn't need the likes of you to distort wow. it today. How the heck is he and Francisca getting along? <laughs> Francisca will be the person who would just whip him to death. Who uses the adjective filthy to describe a prosecutor? And why? Why do I feel such an intense loathing emanating from him? Maybe, maybe his actual brother was um, declared guilty by Edgeworth, like, years before. Oh. In, like, a forging case or something that he's just like, hey, prosecutors, they suck. They forge evidence. <laughs> and then, like, he's That mad. sounds pretty probable, given the ace attorney was. <laughs> All right, men, good job on the perimeter around Gatewater land. Now just find me the kidnapper and bring the punk to me. Kidnapper? Dismissed! Kidnapper will be that girl. <laughs> Sir! Should we Sheena, you're saying? Sheena. Or K. Sheena. Now then, Mr. Prosecutor, you just sit tight here and ca don't cause any trouble, understand? She looks like Rouge. Well, wait. She, she also looks like Mirage from Incredibles. I love Mirage! She was like my favorite part of that movie. She was great. M Mr. Edgeworth. It's been a while since I last met someone so disagreeable. Why of all places did he show up here, and completely out of the blue at that? I suppose I'll have to ask Detective Gumshoe to fill me in on that. Gumshoe, just ignore the girl. <laughs> you Why don't need to be introduced. <laughs> See, when I first saw her, I thought that the it was like a monster eating the key as her hair. <laughs> I see That's that. That's what I thought, and I thought it was like a bird a little bit, so I'm like, what's up with her hair? It's a weird hairdo. Anyhow, that's it for today, everybody. That Thanks was for watching. Yeah, this is an interesting case. Tune in next time. We get to explore the Wild Wild West. Whoa, whoa, West. <laughs> wild West. Just play West. the Wild West uh, music from Roller Coaster Tycoon. Dun, yeah, so now we've, I think at this point we've met the main characters. Kay and Lane are kind of big characters. Why is Lane a big character? I thought he was going to go He's Interpol. Down. I thought he was going to Maybe, he, go maybe down. he's the final boss. The final boss. <laughs> I'm trying to think of someone who, well, I guess there are people we meet and then their final bosses later, but I feel like it's rare that you meet the final boss in, like, this kind of a situation before the final boss point. Unless if you're playing a Zelda game. Yeah. Like, if you beat Ganon or whatever in, like, the Force Temple, you're like, no. That's a fancy game. Right? Anyhow, look yeah. forward to next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.